It is my pleasure now to invite a member of the German Bundestag, an NCRI close friend and ally. Please welcome Mr. Martin Patzelt. Liebe Freunde, wir alle wissen, heute ist ein historischer Tag für uns. Wir wissen, um, we, dass vor dem belgischen We all know Gericht that today is a historic day for us. We know that the Iranian regime and its leader Ali Khamenei are in fact in the dock before the Belgian court. It's Khamenei who is being condemned. And this is a small victory for justice. I'm very satisfied and uh, pleased to have participated as a private, as a civil, a private plaintiff in this important trial against the Iranian regime's organized crime and statism. Russia's devastating war against the Ukrainian people proved that uh, appeasement with totalism, totalitarian uh, systems makes them even more aggressive in war and terrorism. All of us in Europe must learn from this and pursue a policy of decisiveness against any form of dictatorship and against dictators like the Mullahs in Tehran. The Iranian regime has taken security and peace hostage through its act of terrorism and warmongering. We must pay attention to this fact. We have to open our eyes and therefore support the main opposition of this regime let him need the National Council of Resistance of Iran and the People's Mujahideen. They constantly expose the regime's crimes on the international stage. They are the voice for a free Iran. They constantly war, warn the international community with the relevant analysis and documents about the terrorist threat and fundamentalism of the Mullahs and their working methods. They also exposed the Iranian regime's secrecy and deception to acquire a nuclear bomb, which is a global threat. These are valuable services provided by the Iranian resistance to security and peace in Europe and the world. I believe that this democratic opposition is the best real partner for security and lasting peace. The concealment of this fact gives the Mullahs of Tehran the green light to continue their crimes. Anyone who is not publicly exposed can continue their harmful behavior. It is time for Europe to put an end to its self-deception, a self-deception that results from selfishness and self-interest. You don't want to see the danger because you don't want to miss out uh, on the advent advantages that you may have economically. In fact, the Mullahs are the cause of instability and insecurity, not only in Iran, but in the world. We are responsible for European security. Europe must not become a place for, of action of Iranian state terrorism. Iran's Ministry of Intelligence and Revolutionary Guards must be added to the list of international terrorists. And this court, this court case in Belgium has proven that these terrorists operate internationally. They ignite whenever possible. They light a wick from the explosives when necessary. In this way, we enter into international conflicts that we do not expect at all. The conflict in Ukraine makes this very clear to us. Documents seized from the Iranian regime, terrorist diplomats show that the Iranian regime has a large network of spies and terrorist sleeper, sleeps, sleeper cells in Europe and Germany. Our naively may actually offend us heavily Trust is good, but not with someone who lies and deceives us and then constantly works to paralyze and frighten our forces. This is the danger we face. And all European services need to be aware of that. 
there has to be zero tolerance here. The network that they form here must be dismantled and the Iranian regime agents must be brought to, just, to justice and punished. Thank you for your attention.